Welcome to our opening ceremony of our challenge Design for Green. Um, I have to admit that it's a bit strange uh, this year because uh, I should have hundreds of participants and students in front of me and I'm all by myself, well, almost. Uh, so anyway, we, we, we make it happen and I'm really proud to, to welcome you uh, this morning. So um, before uh, entering the, to, to the details and announce the subject, I'd like to welcome for a few words um, our ESAP CEO and Christoph Rouvach. So please welcome. Thank you, Amaury. Uh, bonjour, good morning to everybody and good afternoon for those are, who are in India. I'm uh, really uh, happy to open this um, ceremony and the launch uh, of our Design for Green uh, challenge, which is uh, a challenge that is an international challenge that is open on IT, uh, sustainable IT and green IT. Uh, as uh, Amaury told you, our event manager, it is a very um, uh, astonishing and surprising to have uh, our campuses completely empty and having you all connected online. Even though I'm very happy to have this event and to have it uh, done uh, remotely because uh, most of Europe is already uh, in a lockdown, so it is much it is really important for us to have the event, to have you uh, go through this challenge with the best conditions and of course uh, preserve your health and make sure that everything goes through. So uh, I'm very happy that this is the fourth edition and to see that uh, the, the partners that we had since the beginning of our Design for Green are continuing to uh, um, help us uh, to promote uh, green IT throughout the world and also to see that uh, this edition, and uh, Amaury will give you more uh, facts and figures, has a very high success and a high success to, among the students, which is important for us to inject on the market IT students who are, are capable of uh, lowering the impact of their development and their coding to preserve our, um, our planet and preserve the energy and the ecology of our planet. That is very important. But I'm also very happy to see that we have corporate teams, teams that come from the corporate environment, professionals that are also using this challenge to uh, increase their skills in green IT and also to motivate their team. So thank you very much for all of you to be involved in this uh, topic that we can consider as uh, a general interest. And uh, last element that I would like to highlight uh, that is also fundamental for us is that you um, share with everybody what information, the best of this information can help our IT uh, society, our IT environment to, to evolve to make sure that their impact on ecology is the lowest possible. And of course, the last uh, recommendation that I would give you is to have fun because it is important also to improve your skills, to show that you are good, but it's also important to do it within a very good atmosphere and in a fun environment. So please take the time to enjoy and to exchange with all your teams, all your friends and all your uh, uh, professionals to have a good time and to enjoy this element. And I will be very happy to um, close the session in 48 hours on Friday uh, with all our partners and to see who within the different teams has coded the best. And um, have fun, enjoy this event. I, I will be following it online also throughout the 48 hours. And now I'll pass my, um, the microphone to Amaury, our event manager, who is going to give you some more facts and figures and the elements for the, the design for green. See you soon. Thank you so much. Um, so let's go into details. First of all, I would like to um, present to you uh, the participants of this edition. So um, despite the, the situation that we all know, uh, we reached a new record with 64 teams um, from eight host cities. So we do have 54 teams, uh, student teams, and 10 professional teams. So starting from Angers here, uh, we do have 18 teams from ESAP and two professional teams um, who, which are Empreinte Digital and Spessinov. Thanks to Société Générale, um, who had this year um, five teams. We do have uh, two teams from India, Bangalore, and one team from Romania in Bucharest. 
and the, the two other teams are in Paris. I will, I will come back later uh, on this um, city. So uh, we do have this year, and once again, Obuda University from Hungary. Uh, thank you, Zolt. Uh, I know you, you make it happen this year again. We do have also CGI, a professional team in Luxembourg, and nine teams from University of La Rochelle, so based in La Rochelle. We do also uh, welcome back to uh, uh, the University of Lorraine um, with three teams, and they are mixed with other stud students from Lulea uh, University, uh, which is um, a university based in uh, Sweden. So, uh, a big spot in Paris, of course. Um, Epita has almost 18 teams. Um, and we do have also professional teams. So, two teams from Societe Generale, one team from Wizards Technology, and one team, uh, Vinci Citeos. And last one, we do have uh, a team from Reims, University of Reims Champagne Ardennes. So, welcome to, to everyone. I'd like to, to take a few moments to, to thank our partners, um, especially Alliance Green IT, Agit, and ENR, so the, the Green IT um, Institute, who helped us to, to build the subject this year and find the, the jury members. I would like also to, to, uh, to say thank you to our um, financial um, partners, uh, and historic partners. So thank you to Adem, Angeloire Metropole, La Région Pays de la Loire, and Epita. And we do also have a new, new partners this year. Uh, so Femmes du Digital de l'Ouest um, and the, um, the Green IT Institute from Belgium, which is a, a new institute. So about the challenge. You all know that uh, each team is composed from three to five um, participants, so either students or professional, and you will respond to a common subject by adapting a co-design best practices. So as uh, my director said before, um, on top of the competition, the most important for, for us and for you guys is to um, have fun and, and share uh, the, the best practices on how you, you will develop the, the solution. I will, I will insist uh, again later on, on this point. About the, the prizes, so um, the first prize for the student tip will be a trip to, to Quebec. Uh, of course, if the situation allows uh, the, the team to, 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 to go abroad and to go to, to Quebec. The um, second and third prize for the student uh, is uh, 1,000 euros per team and there will be a special prize for the, for the first company. And we do have also this year again uh, a communication prize uh, via Twitter. So the, the prize is this giant poof. So um, uh, once again, um, I invite, if not done yet, uh, all the teams to create your account on Twitter and share your experience. About the program, uh, so we're here uh, this morning for the opening ceremony. I will announce the subject in a, in a few minutes. We'll have three green IT expert um, talks, two today. Uh, so the first one will be this morning at 11 a.m. and the second one later this afternoon at 4 p.m. And the last one, the third one, uh, will be tomorrow. The challenge will end for you participants at 9.30 on Friday. And we will have the closing ceremony starting at 4 p.m. on Friday. The um, closing ceremony will be on live on YouTube, like uh, as, as we are uh, today, this morning. And the talks, the three talks, will be broadcasted on YouTube. And I will send you the links uh, in due time. About the talks, the three talks. Um, so today we will have um, um, a t um, talk from Olivier Vergens. Uh, he's from the uh, Green IT Institute uh, Belgium. He will give you an overview of um, what is Green IT. 
This afternoon, we will have Benjamin Dutil from XC La Rochelle. Um, so Benjamin will, will give you also uh, an overview of Green IT, but we'll go deeper uh, in details. And tomorrow morning, we'll have Guillaume Gallon, um, who will, um, uh, the, the, the subject of the, of, the, of the talk is how to create digitally, digitally sustainable services. So once again, um, the, the links will be, will be sent to, to all captains uh, and will be uh, broadcasted on, on, on YouTube. Um, I put a slide especially on communication. Uh, as I said, um, and even more for, for this edition, uh, because you, you all by yourself at home, it will be very important to, um, to share your experience and share your best practices. It's also an opportunity to, um, to meet all the professionals and all the students. So I really, really invite you um, to, uh, to tweet uh, by using the, the hashtags uh, below. So, let's get to the point. Uh, the subject. This year, so the subject uh, has been made by, by uh, the uh, Green IT Institute uh, in France, so INR, Institut du Numérique Responsable. And the subject this year will be to echo design uh, a tool developed by uh, the, the INR, uh, which allows the visualization of the digital fragility index. So it's already uh, an open um, uh, a website uh, available uh, on the INR website. It looks like this. You 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 will have all the information uh, later on the the specification document. So um, so basically, the, the functional unit that that would you you will have to to develop is the search of for the index of fragility of a municipality in relation to its department and its region. So um, I put, um, uh, I put two, two, uh, two points um, uh, for, for this slide. Um, so the challenge is to provide, of course, an, uh, as a reminder, an elegant, efficient, and above all, an, an efficient solution. And I would like also to, um, to, to, um, to explain that um, the, the data set is mainly in French. Uh, so, uh, as I said before, I really invite all the, the participants, and I'm thinking uh, especially to, uh, for, for the teams based in India, Romania, and Czech Republic, uh, or Buddha University. Uh, you, you might have uh, some difficulties to, to uh, translate uh, the data set. So I really invite you, um, to, uh, for, for the French-speaking uh, uh, participants, to share um, how, how, to, how, how you, you, you're going so far in the, in the challenge and to share it to the English-speaking person. Um, about the evaluation process, uh, I would like you to, to really pay attention on the, the next few slides. So uh, the challenge ends at 9.30 a.m. on Friday, and the jury um, will be held from 9.30 to 3.30 p.m. Uh, so the time is really shortened. Um, and we do have this year um, 13 experts who will evaluate your um, solution. So we do have experts from um, a lot of institutions, ADEM, Agit, Digital for Better, Laurent Carré, Femme du Digital de l'Ouest, Appel Data Center, Ecologic, Log, Code Experience, Synav Numérique. So, uh, there will be four steps. Uh, during the uh, during the evaluation, I will explain you the four steps. The steps one is will be for the jury to look at your uh, website if it's working or not, and if you will well attach the zip file who will um, who, who will, will provide the, the 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 report document. This is the first step. So basically, if your um, solution is not working, if we have an um, error of 404, 
you will be disqualified. This is the first step. The second step will be uh, an aggregation of four evaluation tools. For the three evaluation tools, uh, GT Matrix, EcoGrader, and EcoIndex.fr, um, you will have to do an auto evaluation. And for the fourth evaluation tool, Sonar Cube, uh, you will have to, uh, to create an account on GitHub and put it on, the, on your report document. If I'm going too fast, do not worry. All this uh, information are explained on the specification document. And anyway, you will have to uh, the, the replay on, on YouTube. So, um, step two, aggregation of uh, the evaluation tools. And we will uh, take the best, uh, the, the best project to go deeper in details to the step three. The step three, the jury members will use a scoring grid. Um, so once again, you, it, it will be available um, on, the, on the drive that, that, that I will send you. Uh, so the score gri scoring grid, sorry, uh, the, there, is, there are three parts. Uh, one functional, one for design, and one for techni technical aspects. And it will be a, a score um, out of uh, 100. And from the, the third steps, uh, we will take, we will we will have uh, the the winners of of the challenge. So this is basically the, the the steps of the of the challenge. Once again, do not worry. All the information are written, and it's quite clear on the specification documents that you will receive in a few minutes. Last but not least. Um, I remind you uh, the four important things. Um, please make sure on Friday morning, uh, do not wait 9.28 um, to, um, to, to, to give out your, your, your project. Uh, if there is an error 404 or no access to the VPS, the jury members will not look at your, your project even if you, you, had, a, uh, you had made an awesome project. Um, it is really important as well do, uh, to not integrate your team name, but only your team number. So you will have a number associated to your team from 1 to 64. So uh, uh, in your doc, uh, report document, uh, you will have to put only your team uh, number and not your team name. And the last one, um, before asking a question, please read carefully the specification document and all documents that will be provided uh, in the, on the drive, on the Google Drive. Well, um, I'm almost on time. It's now time for you guys to uh, work for the next 48 hours. Um, thank you again for watching us, for joining us uh, for, for this fourth edition. And I wish you Good luck, and once again, um, please have fun. On top of the competition, the most important for, you, for, for us and for you guys is to have fun, um, di discover more about the, the, the green IT uh, best practices and share it to, to everyone. Have fun, good luck, and I'll see you on Friday at 4 p.m. for the results. Bye.